today will be in our math class. We'll be looking at fractions. As you know, fraction is part of a whole. And today we'll be looking at addition and subtraction of fractions, both like and unlike terms. So let us start with like terms. So we're looking at addition and subtraction. And what the first thing we're going to look at is a like term. And like terms there, I'm talking about same denominator. We're talking about the D denominator. Okay, so let's just look at an example. Okay, first thing we want to look at. If we have 3 over 7 plus 2 over 7, we keep the denominator and add the numerator. So we get 5 over 7. If we have 3 over 16 plus 5 over 16 plus 7 over 16, the denominator is 16. We keep the denominator and add the numerator. So we have 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 plus 7 is 15. Okay, so what, are, what if we look at unlike denominators? Okay, so unlike denominators, it's a half plus a quarter. We're going to ask ourselves, what number can 4 and 2 go into without a remainder? What number can 4 and 2 go into without a remainder? 4 and 2 can go into 4. So 2 into 4 is 2 times 1 plus 4 into 4, 1 times 1 times 1. So we end up 2 ones 2 plus 1 over 4, and this will give us 3 over 4. Now, our heading is addition and subtraction. So let's just look at some, some subtractions, okay? Our subtractions, when we look at subtraction, we are going to look at the same like denominator. So if we have 7 over 8 minus 3 over 8, what we're doing here, we're going to keep our denominator, which is 8, and we're going to say 7 minus 3 will give us 4, which is the same as a half. Okay? We could have for our, our next one we could look at, we could have 19 over 20 minus 15 over 20. We are going to keep our denominator, which is 20. And 19 minus 15 is 4. This can be simplified. 4 into 4, 1 times. 4 into 25. Let's just look at the last but not least. Unlike denominators, let us have 7 over 8 minus a half. We're going to ask ourselves which two numbers can 8 and 2 go into without a remainder? And the denominator here as our highest common, what the least common number here is 8. So 8 into 8, 1 times, and there is a 7, so we put back our 7. Remember, brackets mean to multiply. Minus 2 into 8, 4 times, 1. So we end up with 7, 1, 7. Minus 4, 1, 4. 
over 8, 7 minus 8, sorry, 7 minus 4 is going to give us 3 over 8. So there we have it, class, how to look at addition and subtraction with fraction. Next time we'll be looking at mixed numbers, which consists of whole numbers and fractions. Okay, take care.